Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. If you have one of these G90 radios and you bricked your firmware, I got you covered. There is an easy way to solve this problem. But first, I've got to brick the firmware. I've got two of these, so when you look at the radio, you're not going to see the, the fancy dials, you're going to see the other one, which is sitting right over there. So don't think that I'm not trying to take care of you guys, I just happen to have more than one radio here as we all happen to have more than one radio, right? Let's get this thing fixed. First, I wanna show you that this thing here is working fine. I'm gonna take my power cord and plug it into the back. And then we're gonna turn her on. And she comes right up, beautiful. In order to get this thing working, you're gonna need the CIV cable that comes with your radio. And what we're gonna do is plug it into our computer. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plug it into the COM port in the back. So you can see there's three different ports back there. We're gonna put it in the one marked COM, C-O-M-M. -M. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is start working on the firmware. I use a utility called G90 Update FW from Dale Farnsworth. And Dale has done a fantastic job. This thing runs on every operating system, including some computers that you probably don't even have and probably have never touched before. I will leave a link in the description down below for my video on how to do the firmware update using this tool. But this is about how to unbrick the firmware and you're kind of kind of figure out how to do the firmware update along the way because I got to do the firmware update a couple of times. I'm going to do it on Linux. It doesn't matter. It will work on Windows. It'll work on Mac OS. It'll work on whatever hardware you happen to have, even an old Raspberry Pi. It's just easier for me to do all the screen sharing and everything I need to do on Linux. We've got three cameras going on this thing. All right, so I have the CIV cable plugged into the back of the radio like I showed you. I'm gonna plug it into the front of my computer over here. I'm gonna run dmessage and dmessage is telling me that it is USB zero, that's important. We're gonna go into our G90 folder, wherever you happen to put this utility is where you need to go in order to run it. And then I need to go look in here. There's a, there's a firmware folder. And then I need to run the G90 update firmware utility, so dot slash G90 update firmware, which is gonna execute the firmware code, but I gotta give it some parameters. So I need to do G90 underscore main unit, and then I need to tell it the port to use. Yours will be COM1, COM2, COM27, whatever, or on Mac OS CU something or other, TTY, I don't know. But find your port number. Again, this is not about how to do the firmware, this is about how to unbrick after you've had some problems. So I'm gonna run it, it's gonna tell me to unplug the radio, which I have unplugged. It actually does matter that you unplug the radio. Plug that back in, hold down the volume key and turn on the power key, and then it automatically starts erasing, and now it's updating, and I just yanked the power cord out. And you can see on the screen that it went crazy. And let's turn it back on by plugging it in. And then we turn the radio on. I didn't mess with the display unit, so the display unit's gonna still come up and run. And then after a little bit, it's gonna say com lost on the screen because it can't talk to the body of the radio. Okay, so what do we do? Now we have to unbrick the radio. So I need to unplug the USB cable and plug it back into the computer. This is something that I noticed was really important because the software starts to complain. So I need to run dmessage again. It still says it's TTY USB zero. It might still be the same serial port for you guys. Whatever the, whatever the process happens to be for you to figure out your serial port, it might still be the same. So I'm gonna run the exact same utility again. Notice I haven't touched the radio at all. Now it says to unplug. So I've unplugged it, plug it back in, and then hold down the volume key and hit power. And immediately the software recovers and it starts updating the firmware file. It seems really scary to do stuff like this, but a lot of modern hardware is built to be recoverable if the firmware bricks by having some type of archive backup of the, the bare minimum bootstrap based inside of it. You can see the display unit has booted up, but it's got to reboot the whole radio. So don't worry about that. The radio has rebooted and now we have comms back to the base unit. Perfect. We're going to brick the face of the unit now as well. So I'm gonna do the exact same procedure. However, I have to plug in the USB data cable to the head. And that is the lower port over here on the side. So we've got that plugged into the lower port and I'm gonna unplug this because that seems to matter to me. Plug that back in, run my D message tool again. It's still TTY USB zero. This time though, it is the display unit firmware that we need to do. So let's do dot slash G90 update firmware, G90 disp unit, 
and then slash dev slash tty usb zero again and so she's running now and she wants me to remove power plug in power hold down the volume key turn on the thing you can see the screen starts going oh no i just lost power in the middle of a firmware update whatever shall i do okay well i'm not going to panic i'm just going to follow these directions that my buddy to has given me i'll put it, the power cord back in i'll unplug my usb cable and plug it back in i will quit out of the firmware update utility. I will check for my port. My port says it's TTY USB one now. So I need to change that over to one and then run it. And it says, disconnect the power cable. I will do that and plug it back in and then hold down the volume key and press the power. And immediately we are erasing and re-uploading firmware. And we have rebooted. And I've got my waterfall back. I'm talking, no comms lost on the backside. Everything looks good. At the very least, you guys now know how to unbrick your G90 if you should ever happen to have bricked it in the first place, or you've got one that is bricked, or you see one out on eBay that says, I bricked my radio for parts only. You can unbrick them. There you go. I would recommend if you do see somebody that's, you know, trying to sell their bricked G90 on eBay, you at least send them a message that says, hey, bro, check this video out. Here's how you fix this. And if fixing bricked G90s isn't your thing, then make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you can see other videos like this one here when they come out next that have something to do with something other than bricked G90s. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.